Hi, Paul Parati here, coming at you live from Toy Testing Lab in Warwick, Rhode Island. And we're here today to take you guys into the laboratory for an in-depth look at the new CPSC methodology for lead and plastic substrates. We're going to start off by cryogenically milling your sample. The cryogenic mill will introduce liquid nitrogen to the plastic substrate for homogenization of the sample. The brand new state-of-the-art cryogenic mill for the preferred CPSC methodologies of plastic substrate. Here's one of our technicians introducing a plastic substrate along with a ball bearing into the stainless steel vessel to pulverize your sample. He will then lock this vessel into the cryogenic mill which will have a five minute cool down period to bring your sample down to negative 196 degrees Celsius. The sample will be agitated vigorously until the ball bearing homogenizes the plastics. When this process is complete, the technician will wait for the instrument to warm up and he will take the vessel off. Here is what your sample looks like before. Here is what your sample looks like 45 minutes after. Now that we've finished cryogenically milling your sample, we're off to the metals laboratory for microwave digestion of the plastic substrate material. Here's one of our technicians preparing your sample for microwave digestion. The process begins by adding one of several acids to the digestion vessel. Once the sample has been prepared, the technician will load the vessel into the microwave carousel. Our technician places the carousel into the microwave. Microwave digestion is the new standard operating procedure for lead and plastic substrate materials. Now that your sample has been processed through microwave digestion, we're off to the metals laboratory for inductively coupled plasma analysis, ICP. At this point, the sample is absorbed up through peristaltic pumps into what is called the argon torch of the instrument. This is where the chemistry actually takes place. It's based on emissions, not absorption. Emissions is the preferred methodology under CPSC standard operating procedures for the new CPSIA lead in plastic and metal substrate methodologies. After the ICP has completed its analysis, one of our technicians will quality control the data. Then it will be uploaded into our laboratory information management system. Hey guys, here we are a few hours later. You've seen cryogenic milling, you've seen microwave digestion, you've seen inductively coupled plasma. All for what? Your final data package. This package includes all the information for compliance with the new CPSC lead and plastic substrate methodologies. When you're in need of third party independent testing of your products, I hope you give us a call. I'm Paul Parati with Toy Testing Lab, and we look forward to testing your products.